everybody, it's Debbie here. Good morning and welcome back to my Crafty Den. I am doing the, this is going to be a um, Halloween decoration tutorial. Now this is something, I'm going to move this back so that I can show you some that I've done years ago. Um, so this is just a pickle jar and it's very, very old. I mean, it's weathered. It's, and I brushed it really, really thin. And I, I've since gotten a better technique. This is just my, my little bottles of craft paint painted on a jar. And so you see, you can put words on them. Uh, this one has a bat on it. So I'm going to show you how I make these. Um, I've been making these for years and years. These ones are from about four years ago. About 10 years ago, I made a bunch of sets and gave them away. And I actually took a board and screw nailed, put holes in the lids and screw nailed the lids down to the board and then put the jars in and did them upside down. Um, and did them in sets of three pumpkins and four pumpkins, jars, but pumpkins, um, and had them all lit up with the same lights that you use to light up your um, Christmas village houses and, and things. But since I've not gotten so fancy in the last few years, so today I've got a little bit of craft paint in here. Now I had a little bit of this crafter's acrylic um pure pumpkin and I've emptied it out into here and I thought I had another bottle of that somewhere and I can't find it but I didn't so I'm just going to add some tropical orange I've added a little bit to that and I'm going to stir it up um and I it's, it's a nice enough orange color but what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to add a dollop of yeah a dollop yeah I said dollop um <laughs> yeah I'm my mother. Um, <laughs> yeah, so anyway, I'm just going to add a little bit of matte finish um, Mod Podge to this to help it stick. Like when I did them years ago, I didn't have Mod Podge. I hadn't started using Mod Podge yet. That tells you how long ago I've done the pumpkins because um, I've been using Mod Podge for 25 years. Or maybe longer. <laughs> no, 25 years about. Ever since it came out, I think I've been using Mod Podge. But I've done these jars since way back, 30 years ago or more, was my first ones. So I'm going to put the lid on my Mod Podge. And I have a jar that I started to prep last night. So this is going to be the jar that I'm going to work on today. And you can see it's kind of cloudy. Now I started with a nice, really clean jar. And it has one coat of Mod Podge on here that's been left to dry overnight. And you can't clean, I mean, you can't clean it. You can't scrape it off. Like it's, once the Mod Podge is on there. So the jars that I've been doing in the last couple of years with the Mod Podge are lasting a lot better. I haven't got them out of the closet yet. These are the first ones that I came to when I started unpacking some Halloween stuff. And, and uh, they're older and they're just paint and it's thick and it's dripped down. And it, as you can see with this one, the paint is thicker at the top and it dripped down. But that's okay because that just shows up when you put a light in there a little bit better. It just It's more texture. So I've got Got this stirred up. I'm just using this little craft stick here, this little dowel, wind dowel, to stir it up. And I am going to use a makeup sponge to put this on because there's a few brush strokes in my Mod Podge, but I don't want to have brush strokes in this this time. I want this one to be nice and smooth. So I'm going to dab in. And I'm just going to start putting this on. Now this doesn't have to go up over the rings at the top because I'm going to do something with the lid as well. The lid's going to be my top. And see how easy it takes the paint? And you use very little. Now I'll do two coats of this for sure. 
Um, and it gives it this, see the nice stippling effect it gets when you use the makeup sponge. And that's what I'm going for with this one. This is how I did the ones last year and I really liked them. Wish I could find those ones. I can't remember what box I put them in. Um, sorry for the noise. I have my son and my grandson are outside and they're doing, my husband's at work. My son and my grandson are outside and they've got tools going. Um, they are cleaning up the last remnants of the tree that had to be taken down in the summer just before our holidays. Um, so they're cleaning that up, getting rid of the last bit of brush and they're blocking and they're going to split and cut and all kinds of things. That tree, um, do what you need to do to make use of a tree if you have to cut it down. So that's where the noise is coming from. And even though I'm making videos, the light that I get in the daytime is better than any filming light that I can get. And it's a little bit cloudy today and it's still better. But um, yeah, life has to go on outside too. I can't make people stop because I'm filming. And I could wait till the middle of the night when everybody's sleeping and it's quiet to do my videos. But... You know what? The truth is, I'm sleeping then too. <laughs> so, yeah. So this isn't going to take very long to dry. I'm going to leave this for 15 minutes or so and come back and put another coat on it. And so while I'm waiting for the second coat on this to dry, um, I am going to take the lid. Now, I've done the same thing last night. I prepped it with one coat. You can probably see the brush strokes right there. So with one coat of Mod Podge, that's all. So I have shaken up this um, Crafters Acrylic Deco Art Burnt Umber. And I am going to put just a teeny tiny dab of it on here because it's not going to need a whole bunch. So I'm not going to pour any out. And because that um, Mod Podge is on there, we're not going to handle this lid a ton. So I am going to dab on the lid. And I'm not even going to pour this out into a dish. Just dab it on here. And make sure you get it all covered. And this will take two or three coats, and it might take a little bit longer to dry because it's metal. I don't know why, but um, I seem to find that that's the case. So after this is all covered with the burnt umber, I'll come back and show you what I'm going to do. So the, the jar is drying, and I've got two thin coats of the burnt umber on here. And you can still see a little bit of the pickle lid, but I've taken a nail because it cracks the paint and, and takes it off. So before I forgot, I've taken a nail and I just took a, a little finishing nail about that long and I hammered one little hole and then twisted the nail around and pulled it out. Um, and I kind of eyeballed near center, not exact, but near center. That's good enough for me. So I'm going to take this metallic worn penny and I'm going to put the tiniest little dot of it onto there. See, just a little dot. And then I'm going to take it and I am going to spread it out around here because I just think this looks adorable when you do this. So it's not going to be a solid worn penny color. There, it's just modeled and that's what I'm going to do with this. There's enough around the edges. And I'm just going to keep doing that until no more will come off my sponge. There. So it's kind of a modeled, but a little bit of shine to it. Not a whole lot. I don't want it to be like a big, bright piece of metal. But the little bit of shine is kind of cute. 
So I like that. So when this whole thing is dry, I'm going to show you how I turn this into a jack-o'-lantern. So my paint has dried. Um, the next step is to draw on your face, whatever it is that you're going to use for your face. And in this case, I've decided to go a little bit whimsical. And I just wanted to show you, I just use an ordinary number two pencil. And if you make a mistake, like just after 35, 40 minutes, this paint, once it's dry, you can, with because it's got the Mod Podge in it with these ones, like I couldn't do this when I was doing them before and I was just using the acrylic paints because they rub off. But yeah, the Mod Podge, like it, it does something to this. So I'm going to take a couple of little paint brushes and I'm going to take a few more paint colors um, and I am going to paint on a face. So I'm going to put a little bit of black in here. I'm going to put a little bit of white on here. I am going to grab a, let me see now. I'm going to grab my baby wipes so that I have something to clean my brush between dipping. Because my brush is tiny, I don't need a bucket of water. Um, and I am going to just take this teeny tiny little number zero sized paintbrush and using the crafters acrylic I'm just going to start painting my face on here now I'm not an artist I'm not great at painting but I think anybody can do this And it's not that hard. So just paint on your face. Yeah. have my face which is pretty simple you just just do basic stuff um, I just kind of start I do use my pencil and I kind of just sketch what I'm feeling at the time and um, yeah so that's that part so I'm going to throw that sponge in the garbage before I get stuff where I don't want it. And I'm going to work on my, ooh, and I'm going to throw this in the garbage before I get stuff where I don't want it. Like all over me. So let me just clean my hands off here for a minute first. So I have paint everywhere. I'm a messy crafter, so anybody that watches my channel will know by now I'm a messy crafter. Um, but I have, to do this, I have a, a green Chanel um, stem that I have bent just about in half. And I'm going to make a little point here. And I am going to give it a twist and then I'm going to shove this point down through this jar. I'm going to hold it flat on the bottom and bend it out like that. Then I'm going to take my hot glue gun, which has been plugged in all this time. So hopefully I've got it turned on this time. And I'm going to put a nice sized dollop of glue on the top of this jar. I am going to take this leaf and I am going to stick it in here like this and then I'm going to put, oh, not enough glue. I want 
this the leaf can go right down into this glue here like that so that it stays but I want this to stick down and this is actually an acorn like I went out up the road there's a maple or a oak tree so I actually went out and just grabbed an acorn there so I'm going to fill that right up so I can stick this down on here like this I don't have acorns and leaves on the tops of the other ones, but um, I have done this before. I think it's a really good idea. So I'm going to take this chenille stem and I'm going to take my, I'm just going to take the barrel of this little paintbrush and I'm going to start winding it around like this. And I'm going to wind it down as far as I can. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side, on this one. Just wind it down like this. Then I'm going to take these ends and I'm just going to pull them out a little bit like this. Then you take your lid and you take your jar. And how stinking cute is this? So let me put my camera up a little bit. You can't see the whole thing. So there we go. So total cost of this. Now imagine what it would look like if you had, I've done this with teeny tiny little jelly jars. I've done this with big, tall, skinny jars, like spaghetti sauce jars, like that size of jar. This is a pickle jar. It's a little shorter than the tall, skinnier pickle jars. I've done this with barrel-shaped jars. I have taken the big, you know, the great big uh, jars that they get in restaurants. So if you know anybody that works in a restaurant or owns a restaurant or you're close to the little one down your road or whatever have you um, the great big jars that they get so they have a ton of stuff in them yeah so imagine just imagine what a whole series of these jars would look like and then you take your little light and you you know I don't think you're going to be able to see this but I'm going to try no you can't see it you need a I have some that are brighter just make, let me look maybe it'll work and these ones aren't very bright what about this one No, mine aren't very bright, but you take your, um, what I ideally, like what I did last year, and they're still packed away, is I took my, I took my little strings of lights, you know, the little strings of fairy lights, and um, on Halloween night, I put little strings of fairy lights in my jars and sat them outside on my railing. So I had a whole row of these out on my railing. And yeah, so stinking cute. And you can pack these away. Just pack them into a box with some tissue paper between them. <coughs> and uh, yeah, how cute, eh? How cute. Oh, I'm going to turn this. There, you have to work your jar until you get this lid around to where it's the front part's at the front part. So that's it. That's my little um, pickle jar jack-o'-lantern. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Now, when this paint, when this black paint is dry, I will go back through and you can see just a couple of little bits of pencil mark where I didn't quite follow my pattern. It was just a guideline to give me an idea. And uh, yeah, so that's my that's my jack-o'-lantern. So I really, really hope you like this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment and share. And by all means, if you'd like to see more crafts and DIYs, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye-bye for now, and I'll see you in the next video.